Hi friends, I've been trying to live up to my nickname by staying busy while at home. I crave peace during this time and painting helps me achieve that state of mind. Everything is f***ing crazy. But fluid painting has become my favorite form of expression. It's kind of a backward process. I let the art reveal itself in the pour. I never go in with a foolproof plan. More of a general vision. It's more fun this way. Also a nice metaphor for life. In fluid art, it's important to be flexible and open-minded. So many beautiful mistakes happen in the process. It takes a certain eye to catch a pattern once the paint starts to reveal itself. If you're too rigid, you'll miss out. The most precarious part of the process is mixing the paint. I use a pouring medium with acrylics. I also mix thicker formulas with a bit of water and put it through a strainer with the pouring medium for a proper and smooth mix. I'm still working on the exact weights so that the brighter pigments and metallic don't sink. Normally I pour a base, but since this isn't a big canvas, I just went straight in. For this little jelly friend, I wanted to do a dirty pour and mix in the outline of a jellyfish so she flowed with the water. I chose this type of pour so I could get a frothy sea and use the cup to guide the paint for initial cell creation. I didn't use any silicone drops until the end. I don't know if this was a mistake or not, but it turned out fine. One of the hardest things is maintaining the cell formations and pigment while drying. After it's poured, I use a painter's spatula and popsicle craft sticks to move the paint around. Apologies for the glare, I wanted to use natural light and luckily caught it mid-video. <laughs> I love the vibrance of this purple, but need to be careful with how I pull it through so that it doesn't sink into the canvas. I pull it a few times to also give her tentacles more wisp. The vision is to have a bit more blend with the flow of the sea. While I could play and paint all day, it's important to know when to walk away from the canvas. I personally like to touch a painting only three times if I can help it. I have a nasty habit of leaving projects unattended, but with painting, I'm strict about this. Mostly because I don't have the physical or mental capacity for lingering canvases. I go in for the initial pour, wait for it to dry, and do any other extra layers or touch-ups. Then I usually seal with epoxy resin. It's time to let this one dry for round two. Thanks for joining, and please tag me in your creations. I love seeing what other people create. It inspires me right back.